All right, uh, we're going to start today. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to wipe out my metal BBS that I have in there because there are some things wrong with it and I'm going to start over from scratch. Um, and so this is a video that we're going to show you how to set up a metal BBS. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my metal folder and I'm going to trash it. And we'll empty the trash to make it go away. So now I have a whole 3.5 megabytes free on my on my drive. Um, so now I am going to go. Oh yeah, I'm gonna open up um, Shrink It GS here. We're gonna open up the archive, and we will go to my root of my disk downloads folder down at the bottom here. Working BBS. This is uh, something I. I zipped up, uh, or shrinked up, I guess, a long time ago, back in the 90s. So that all you got to do is unzip it. Future Vision is already installed, or is already copied in. So let's open that. All right. So 255 items. Can't just. I'm so used to doing Control A for select all. It just it doesn't work. Oh. Apple A. See? Let's try that. Apple A. Select all. Look at that. All right. So we'll extract. And we just want to put it in the root because it's going to put it in a metal folder or directory. Um, so now I'm going to say extract. And I've got this thing, um, this emulator, unlocked or unlimited. So it's acting as though it's a 255 megahertz GS. Okay, so we're going to quit now, now that we've got it undone, and we're going to reboot the thing. Alright, so now I'm going to uh, go down to our metal folder, and we'll start metal. Alright, so now we um, have our setup to begin. Uh, we're going to supply some information, some general information, so the system can create necessary data files. You'll be asked to give information about yourself so that your account can be created. Okay. Press key. What are you going to call your BBS? The boycott. BBS. Remote maintenance password. Um, that's a password that uh, if you were going to dial into the BBS remotely and you wanted to get into the maintenance section even though you've already entered in your user password when you go to maintenance it's gonna ask you for this password um, just a little extra security there um, set an, a new user password uh, we will leave it at new time zone abbreviation uh, we'll just say Pacific time creating some files uh, that it's going to use. I'm going to press return. Alright, my full name. Um, full real name. Handle. That was always my BBS handle back in the day. Password. We'll just do that. Street address. I forgot what my street address was, but I do know. I'm just going to say one, two, three, main street, Yermo, California, seven, one, four, two, five, four, two, eight, six, eight. Remember that from when I was a kid. That's where my dad worked at Union Pacific Railroad in Yermo, California. Mail. All right, my birthday, 12, 8. Yep, two-digit date. So I used to type it in um, four-digit dates. Uh, Apple 2GS. All right, so administrator account is created. Your system has now been configured. You probably wish to log in locally and customize the many options of Future Visions. Uh, instructions is in the Future Vision documentation. 
Uh, program does not configure the new mod the many modules such as voting boost transfer section or the FutureNet software these programs must be configured separately again see the documentation any questions blah blah happy BBS sync so we're going to press return now and restart the BBS there we go we're in the wait screen so this is um, what it looks like uh, to set it up and uh, we'll call that the end of this video for now and uh, we'll come back later and uh, do some setup and maybe install some modules and games and, and stuff like that. So uh, we'll talk at you next time.